You guys, this week we are not in our normal location. We are currently in New Orleans, Louisiana because we are going on a little summer trip. And because of that, we wanted to explore all of the bookstores that they have down here. We did actually already go to two Barnes & Noble locations. And one of them, you guys know, is our favorite location of all time. It's two-story, it's huge. It has like the traditional layout. So we knew we had to stop by. We kept noticing there was another Barnes & Noble location on maps. And we had only ever been to that one that we love. So we were like, let's just go check it out and see if there's actually one there. And we went and that one was also so beautiful. That one is the new layout. And I know we keep seeing people don't love that new layout, but I thought it was so gorgeous. I think everything is categorized very well. And they like utilize the little space they have so well too. It was just a completely different experience. And so now every time we come to New Orleans, I want to go to both of the locations. The new one definitely has more of a modern layout, but I really enjoyed it. I do agree that it doesn't feel as cozy as the traditional stores, but like you said, it kind of feels like an exhibit. It looks like a museum. And I think because we've never experienced that, like we just really enjoyed a new type of look to it. But let us know if you have been to any of the new Barnes & Noble locations, if you like the new layout, if you don't. It was very interesting to see the differences. So we didn't end up getting anything from Barnes, but last Last night we did go around and look at little free libraries in the area so we're gonna go ahead and show you those clips first and then we will haul what we picked up you guys we are on our way to explore some little free libraries and since we're gonna be running around town we decided it will be the perfect time to take our little magic mind shots you guys know how much we love them they are these little all-natural productivity shots that boost energy and focus they're honestly just so easy to take with you on the go so you can drink them whenever you need just a quick dose of energy and focus which is why we brought them today you guys know we've been on our whole magic mind journey and we've been telling you guys how it's going along the way so if you are interested we will have their link and our discount code in the description box you can use our code loranda reads 20 to get 20 percent off your purchase but we're gonna take ours and then head out and find some books
those little free libraries were my favorite ever. They're so much more creative here in New Orleans. Back in Houston, there's not really that many and they're kind of not in the best condition. Not in the best condition. And I just feel like the culture here, they're so much more decorated. There's more effort put into them. There are actual books in there. I feel like a lot of times we go to ours and there's nothing. So it was just really fun to see all of the different ones. They had so many. The ones that had their little free libraries decorated like their homes were my absolute favorite thing. Y'all don't even understand the happiness that it brought me. That is just talent. It's like mini versions of their home. I'm obsessed. That one and the one with like Mardi Gras beads all over, that was my other favorite. One of the houses even had like homemade bookmarks that you could take if you ended up taking one of the books. So that was so sweet. And there were so many. Like we could have kept going, but it was getting really dark. So we had to stop. We feel bad though, because we didn't know we were going to look at little free libraries here. Therefore, we didn't bring any books from home to unhaul. And we know we definitely could have unhauled some books. So we did take only a couple books. And then once we get home and we unhaul, we'll put those in our little free libraries. So we're giving back. But we got a couple. So we'll just show you guys those really quick. Up first, we have Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. I actually did just watch this movie. The name changed to A Haunting in Venice for the movie adaptation. I actually really enjoyed it. So I think I want to read the book and then maybe watch the movie again and see the similarities and the differences. But this was a really surprising one to see in a little free library. We don't ever see anything in ours. So we were having a blast finding stuff here. A fantasy book that we found in one of them is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemsen. And this is actually book one in the Broken Earth series. I don't know if I've heard of this series before. It had good reviews on Goodreads, but it looked very interesting, pretty much perfect condition. And what's absolutely insane is after we got this one, we went to a different little free library and they had book two in the exact same series. I could not believe it when I saw it. I wonder if it was the same person and they just kind of dropped each book off at different locations. Maybe. I just thought it was absolutely insane. So now I've got a new fantasy series to start. Not that I need another one, but once I'm ready to get back into fantasy series, I'm going to start this one. I'm so excited. We did find a little summer mystery book in there. This one is The Safe Place by Anna Downis. We are going to the beach after this, so I might read this one there. I'm not sure. Stay tuned for the beach reading vlog. But this one says no phones, no outsiders, no escapes. Another really exciting find is The Sunset Crowd by Karen Tanaby, I think. And this is actually an arc. I cannot believe it was in there. It says the highs and lows of fame, fortune, and love come together in this dazzling fever dream set in 1970s Hollywood. You guys know Amanda loves like Hollywood type settings for books and historical fiction. So we knew we had to get it. Let us know if you've read this book. I don't think I've heard of it either. So that is all that we found at the Little Free Libraries. But today we want to go to some indie bookstores around us. There are so many. I can't believe we've never gone before. I also think since we're used to Houston, everything is so far away. And here in New Orleans, everything is so close together. So even if it's like 15 minutes, 20 minutes away, like that's so easy to get to. So we're going to head out now and see what these bookstores have.
guys, funny story. As we were on the way to the India bookstores, we stopped by this building that had two little free libraries in front of it. And they actually had a sign in front that said, if you're looking at books, you can come inside. We have more books. So we looked at those and then they had even more books in the back warehouse. So we went crazy. We picked out a bunch because the owner said that they used to have a lot of books brought in, but no one would really come by to get any or trade. So they stopped bringing in all these boxes, but they had a bunch. So they let us go through all of them. Super nice. We got a bunch. They let us take home this big box. <laughs> and I mean it's filled to the brim with books so we'll just go ahead and go through these first we each got a copy of this book and it is called dead flip by Sarah Farazan and I mean this just looks absolutely magical do you think the front cover looks so cool it's definitely like 80s vibes there's an arcade this is a YA book and it was from the library but it says this author is award-winning I like that it has the plastic cover too I would want to do this with all my hardcovers if I had the materials. I found a few Ellen Hildebrand books. Y'all know I'm an Ellen Hildebrand girly, so I found the Identicals and the Castaways. This is insane. I can't believe they had so many to choose from. I'm gonna stack them up like we did with that big book sale. We found another copy of The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. I want to see this movie adaptation. I didn't know Dakota Fanning was in it, so now we both have this book. We need to read it before we watch the movie. We found The Husband's Secret by Leanne Morardi. I did read Apples Never Fall by Leanne Morardi, and I watched the Big Little Live show and absolutely loved that. But I didn't love Apples Never Fall. Mm -hmm. So this should be like the determining one for me to see if I actually love Leanne Morardi or not. I cannot believe we found a copy of Beach Read by Emily Henry. You guys know we've been reading some Emily Henry books lately for the book club and have absolutely loved all of her books. I actually haven't read Beach Read yet. So I think this would be perfect to take to the beach and I can read it this week. So stay tuned. I hope that I can read this and it'll be in that reading vlog. We also got an ARC in the Free Little Library this one is called Furia, but we thought this cover was absolutely gorgeous and we cannot leave it there. This is the second arc we found in a little free library around town. Yeah crazy. You can't leave arcs there. You can't. If you see an arc, take it. We also both got a copy of White Out, and this is another one of those novels that have a bunch of different authors that collaborated. And I love, oh, like Black Owl. Wow, by like the Blackout. same team. That is so fun. Okay, perfect. We both have Blackout on our July TBR. So we're going to be reading that book this month and then we'll have this for the winter time. Worked out perfect. I didn't even realize Me that's either. what was happening. White out, blackout. I'm obsessed. They're so smart. We also found a Jennifer Weiner book. I know she's kind of another queen of summer books. This one is called Best Friends Forever. They're on a beach. So this could potentially be a really good beach read. We'll see. A book that I've actually been wanting for a really long time is The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi. And I thought that I had found a copy of this, but I can't find it. So I saw another copy. She is a little beat up, but doesn't matter. I'm gonna read it. But it's a national award winner. I can't wait to read it. We also found the second book in the Maze Runner series. This one is The Scorch Trials. I do have the first book, still haven't read it yet, but I want to read all of them and then watch the movies all over again. I think that would be fun if we did that. Speaking of book to movie adaptations, they did have two hardcover copies of Eclipse and Breaking Dawn and I actually don't own the Twilight books, at least not the full set. So I did pick these up, they are in really good condition. And then lastly, another book to movie adaptation. I picked up The Hobbit. I have not read any of these books. I own The Lord of the Rings and it's ginormous. So this one definitely seems a little more digestible. Maybe I can start with this one since it does take place first anyway. But I love these movies so can't wait to read this. So this is everything we got at that one little free library location which was insane but it was such a great time. Then we went to a bunch of indie bookstores which is one of our favorite things to do. The first one we went to was my favorite one. They were all so gorgeous but that one specifically I don't know something just stood out about that one. It was super cozy. It was upstairs and downstairs. They had a cat sleeping on the couch. That cat was so unbothered too. Immaculate vibes. There was a boy there looking for books. First time we've ever seen one of those. And I found like the best book possible. I was about to order this book on Amazon to take with us to the beach and we ended up finding it there in the 25 cents section and it is the last miss parish by Liv constantine it is a little banged up the spine is super broken but that's okay because if anything i could just put it like this on my shelf you know <laughs> if anything that means someone loved it before you got it yeah 
and you know, now it's my turn to love it. I've heard a lot of people say that this is a better version or the original version of The Housemaid. And I know that second book did just come out. We've been seeing that second book everywhere at the bookstores that we've been going to. I might read it when we go to the beach. But then again, I just said I'm, I need a mystery thriller break. That's true. Because I think I'm in a mystery thriller slump. But I don't know. We'll see. Great find for 25 cents though. Really? At one of the other bookstores, I actually picked up a book not for myself, but for my little cousin. It's her birthday this week and that's why we're going to the beach. So I decided to get her the BFG. I remember reading this book when I was younger and I absolutely loved it. It's one of my earliest memories of like reading an actual book all the way through. And I know there's a movie adaptation now. I haven't seen it, but maybe we can all watch it together if she decides to read it. But I mean, The Big Friendly Giant, this is like a classic. So I got this one at Octavia Books. This one was really cool too. But yeah, I'm so happy they had a copy. I might have to get myself another copy. That was a lot of fun. We got a lot of books to take home with us and we don't even have space for more books and all of our luggage, but you know, it's worth it. It's worth it. Overall, it's been such a fun weekend exploring all of these bookstores, bookshops, little libraries and everything. It's fun to explore different cities and the bookstores and book things that they have. So I'm glad we were able to do that. That is pretty much it for today though. We had such a fun time. Stay tuned because this week we are going to the beach and we will be doing a reading vlog, reading all these new summer books that we have. Also a reminder to join the book club if you haven't already. This month we are reading Home is Where the Bodies Are by Geneva Rose. That link will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you guys next time okay we found a jennifer we <laughs> weiner are we 12 weiner weiner <laughs> no it's got an n what weiner? oh weiner <laughs> Japanese Weiner. I'm gonna say Weiner. Okay. We also found a Japanese Weiner book. Japanese? Japanese? Jennifer! <laughs> we found this book. We also found a Jennifer Weiner book. <laughs> <laughs> Commit to Weiner! I don't know. Oh, also, we found a word search and I'm taking it to the beach. As you should. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What pushed you? I tried to. To put my elbow on the oh middle, aren't I? You on me. Okay, I'm sorry.